Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to Old School RuneScape. Today we are going to be talking about placeholders. This is an update that Jagex implemented yesterday, and I have to say, I am loving it so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the bank here and kind of see how this whole thing works. So as you'll notice on your new bank screen, you'll see this little thing right here with the lock. This is what allows you to enable and disable the placement holders. So right now it's turned on, let's turn it off. Now, when it's turned off, this is like your normal bank as it was before. You don't have a placeholder, it's, it's just as it was. But now when we enable it, when the background turns red here, now it enables a placeholder for your item. So you'll notice when I take out my uh, dragon scimitar here that my regular dragon scimitar is in my inventory, but left behind is a more transparent version of the dragon scimitar and a zero next to it. And of course, zero GP underneath it. This has now left a placeholder in your bank and that goes for every single item, just as you're seeing right now. Once you put it back in the bank, it reverts back to how it looked before. Now this is awesome because this eliminates the withdraw all but one option. This option is useless now, unless you have not enabled the lock. If you have not enabled the lock, withdraw but one is absolutely necessary. But if the lock is enabled, withdraw but one is useless. There is no point in withdrawing but one anymore because I can just take all my money out and now it's left a placeholder for me which is amazing because now I don't have to keep sorting items, which is always very, very annoying, especially for things like this. Like I go mining all the time and I have one prospector helmet, one legs, one boots, and they always end up down here. And I, I don't want them to end up down here with my pick. So now I can just click on the items. They come right out of my bank. I can put them right back. I don't have to worry about them anymore. This is also eliminated my, uh, my clue scroll placeholders or my drop placeholders. These are all the drops and the rewards from clue scrolls that I've gotten over the past few months. I've been playing RuneScape again and I have lots of different things that I could sell and have money. I mean, my tab here is worth 1.6 mil. I mean, that right there is one mil of it, but all this, all of this adds up. All of this is money that I could just be selling and not have to use as a placeholder anymore, which makes my life a lot better. It makes your life a lot better too. I love this update. Uh, I wanna try out something to see if this is uh, gonna be 100% foolproof. <laughs> and let me try it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit the bank, log back in the bank, placeholder is still active. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna log out and see what happens. Okay, I am logged back in. So let's check the bank here, see if it's still active. I'm gonna get past this pin part and there we go. The lock is still active. This is pretty much foolproof unless you accidentally click on it, but I am always gonna have this enabled. I mean, I don't see the point in having this disabled. Like, I, I, don't, I don't see why you would have this disabled. Now, what's another feature that's really cool that I found out yesterday as well is, now let's say you have an item in here that uh, you don't want a placeholder for. Like for example, my enchanted gem. Let's take that out. It's in my bank now. I'm left with a zero in my placeholder. Now, if I don't want this placeholder to exist anymore, you're gonna hover over it and you'll see that it says release enchanted gem. You're just gonna left click on that, release enchanted gem, and now it's gone. That placeholder is now gone. And so you can put that gem right back and you'll notice it goes into the next slot available. That's really helpful as well. Since you have an item you might not use anymore or is pretty freaking useless, you can just release that placeholder and you're done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy this video. Let me know your guys' opinions about the placeholder update. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you wish things were different somehow? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. See you next time.